Today I'm going to show you how to make the corner to corner stitch. The stitch you'll need to know in order to make these bold, beautiful graph gans. So first you're going to make a slip knot and chain six. Skip the first three chains and make one double crochet in each of the next three chains. And that's how you make your first corner to corner block. To begin row two, you're going to chain six again. Skip the first three chains and make one double crochet in each of the next three chains. Then you're going to slip stitch into the skipped chain three from your first block. Chain three and make three double crochets all into that same chain space. And those are your first two rows. You can see you have one block in the first row and two blocks in the second row. To begin row three, chain six again. Skip the first three chains and make one double crochet in each of the next three chains. Slip stitch into the next chain space, chain up three, and make three double crochets all into that same chain space. Again, slip stitch into the next chain space, chain up three, and make three double crochets into the chain space. You'll continue like this, growing your piece by one block every row until your piece is as wide as you want it to be. It's easy to count your rows because you'll always have the same number of blocks. So four blocks in row four, five blocks in row five, and so on. So as you can see, our square is as wide as it's going to be, and we need to finish off the other corner by decreasing. Rather than chaining up six, as we've done in the past, you're just going to chain one and turn your work. Then you'll need to make a slip stitch in each stitch of the last block from the previous row.
also slip stitch into the chain space. And now you can start making double crochet blocks again. Chain three and make three double crochets into that chain space. From here, you can continue making double crochet blocks the same way you did before. When you get to the end, you'll just slip stitch into the last chain space. Now, if you continued increasing here, you'd make a rectangle while your piece maintained the same width. But we're going to make a square. So you'll just chain one and turn your work and slip stitch into each stitch from the last block of the previous row. From here, you know what to do. Chain up three and continue making corner to corner crochet blocks. If you continue decreasing at each end of your piece, you'll eventually only have one block left to do. and then you're done. If you want to change color at any point during your corner to corner project, don't complete the last double crochet of the last block in color A. Drop color A and pull up color B through the two loops on your hook. Then you can slip stitch into the next chain space in the new color B, chain up three and continue making corner to corner crochet blocks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check the link in the description for the related blog post, as well as a link to where you can purchase my latest corner to corner graph GAN project, this super cute boba tea blanket. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.